Now, you know, 2 News Oklahoma has brought every possible resource to bear to bring you complete coverage of every angle of this mass shooting. In fact, our 2 News Oklahoma's Amanda Slee talked to a man whose mother was in the building right across from the Natalie building, and she saw the police response. He FaceTimed with his mom while all this was happening. Amanda, fill us in on what happened. Nicholas O'Brien was at a park on a walk with his dog this evening when he got a call from a FaceTime from his mom who was in one of these medical buildings at this medical complex. During that FaceTime, she turned the camera around to show him the scene. She showed him police activity outside and people rushing out of the building, some walking and some stumbling. It was a scary situation to see go down firsthand over FaceTime. Um, I was on Brookside, so I rushed over here just to, you know, stay outside until she came outside. O'Brien says his mother was barricaded in a room in the Kelly building of the medical complex while the shooter was in the Natalie building across the way. He says she did try to leave at one point when this happened. O'Brien was reunited with his O'Brien was with his uh, reunited with his mom and they promptly went home to have some alone time. Again, I'm Amanda Slee. Let's go to Brady now. Well, guys, I am um, in Memorial parking lot right now, and as you can see behind me, everything is basically cleared up by now. But this was the uh, um, uh, this was where the unification center was for most of the evening. The Red Cross was also here this evening providing services that may have been needed over the past few hours. We have seen the number of cars obviously slow down. A lot of them have come and gone at this point. We've seen uh, dozens of people show up this evening anxiously waiting to hear any news from authorities and we spoke to one man this afternoon who tells us his wife was in the infusion center at the time of the shooting. She and more than a dozen people had to barricade themselves inside of the center, even putting cardboard on the windows to hide. Soon after he heard about the shooting, he made contact with his wife and found out she was safe. Well, I mean, I'm elated, but again, you know, there's people out there that aren't going to have that happen. I mean, they're they've lost loved ones. I don't I, last I heard three other than the shooter are down. I mean, I'm lucky those people unfortunately have a lot of things that nobody wants to look forward to to have to handle. Now we haven't heard much information from TPD. All we were told is to basically leave this parking lot open for people that were coming in and going out. Um, as you can see behind me, everything has basically cleared up by now. And that also includes um, TPD from the premises. And um, a lot of the streets have actually opened up around Memorial High School as well. For now, we'll send it on over to Shea Smith with more. Yeah, Brady. So I am right off of Yale and 65th, 65th, excuse me. And a lot of the people that I spoke to earlier today basically told me that as they were driving down Yale, either going home or going to work or going to grab food, they pretty much got caught up in the traffic with officers heading to the Natalie building where that shooting happened. And a lot of them told me that they just pulled over across the street from the building over to the Springer um, clinic. And that is basically where they parked and they waited to learn information to figure out what was going on and to pretty much wait until the scene cleared and they were able to go home. Trying to come from work to my house right up the street. Um, there was a bunch of police officers coming down full speed trying to assist the situation. I was unaware and so I tried to redirect myself, try to get uh, to, to my home and uh, I ended up coming here. A woman I spoke to says she had recently left the Kelly building. Now that is right next to the Natalie building, as we've been saying where that shooting happened. She told me she was grabbing food in this area and when she saw officers head towards the area that she had just left, she came to the Springer building. She told me a nurse who worked in the area told her that there was a shooting at the medical building and she told me that she is absolutely shocked. Oh my God. 
oh my god we got um this is real this is real uh you don't really hear about this type of stuff in oklahoma let alone um uh, right down the street from your house Now, as I've said, most of the people I spoke to told me the same thing over and over, that a tragedy like this does not happen at home. It's not supposed to happen here. It's not supposed to happen in Tulsa or in Oklahoma. And they all also said that they are praying for the victims and the victims' families involved. Karen.